I played in the Sidemen charity match 2023 last week we and go. it went incredibly. I was so happy with the way everything went. I did not expect it to be as flawless as it was. I missed the messages the first time round, but I got there in the end and I said yes. I wanted to go wild. And the charity match is the way to do that apparently. But I said yes and I'm so glad that I did. But I was on the YouTube All-Stars team, left back. Defending the goal! I was really worried that my asthma was gonna get in effect. I was puffing my inhalers all day. I was like, I gotta be, I gotta be ready. I haven't been training cardio. I did lose 10 kilos, like 20 pounds, for the match. Cause I was like, I have two months before this match. I don't wanna be as heavy as I am. I wanna be lighter on my feet. So I lost 10 kilos, but I didn't train my cardio. And when I got out into the pitch, I was out of breath immediately. Let's watch some clips. Let's let's see me in action. It's YouTube's Peter look Crouch. at me. Oh, oh look at these yeah. shirts. We've got Duke. Duke Dennis, he was in the US. Hell Army. yeah, what's the point of having long hair if you don't whip it around and headbang every now and then? The light skin Holland. I think there Simon I is am. Well, as always. Wow. We know that Simon is a That's so lot. weird to I see. It's so play. weird to be at like an actual stadium, like West Ham Stadium in London in front of that many people. Like this is an actual football pitch where big matches are played. Child me would have been freaking out about this. I mean, I'm freaking out about it. It was such a cool thing to be able to do, to be able to get out there on that pitch with that many people around. I used to grow up watching Man United because of my dad. He was a huge Man United fan. Went to Old Trafford and everything and saw them play. I still remember vividly the 1999 match between Manchester United and Bayern Munich where Man United were going to win the treble and they were losing until like the last, in like 90 plus minutes, they scored two goals. I remember freaking out, running outside, playing football with my sister immediately afterwards and seeing people on screen like playing football matches and I actually got to do it. Part of me really wishes my dad could have seen that match to be like, that's my son out on a pitch playing on a stadium that I know, but it was a, a really great event to just be in anyway. Oh, look at him go. Look at him go. I got kicked in the face. Offside. Handball. <laughs> and then Vic Star came up afterwards. He was like, sorry about that, Sean. <laughs> I was like, dude, all part of the game. You put your face on the line when it comes to football. Plenty of time. Look at the run from Simon into the box. He wants it back post. Freezy against Chunks. Oh! Reflexes of a champion! Reflexes of a god! Did you see that ball came to me? Got it out. Excellent defending. Also, Stephen Trice kept calling me Jack Septicei for the commentary. And people didn't understand why. It's just a joke, guys. Stephen is one of the funniest people on the planet. Of course, Jack is the CEO of coffee brand Top of the Morning. Not to be confused with my brand that does t-shirts at funerals. Um, <laughs> I really should have got the copyright for it. See what I mean? Top of the morning. That's that's a clever joke. That's a quick joke. Just how he knows. He has got a cannon of a strike on him. He doesn't often get to there I go. in these matches. But look at this. Uh, why am I running so slow? Why get stuck in, lad? Vision. I mean, he's a get stuck in. Harry just scored and all I'm doing is sauntering to the back line. What am I doing? When you're on the pitch, it's like, yeah, I did my best. And then you watch it back and it's like, why am I not tackling? Look, I can't run as fast as I used to. I think I was the oldest guy on the pitch. I would love to be proven wrong. So that is not the, the thing that I have coming out of this match. That I was the oldest person there. I don't want that to be my thing. He's adapted his game as he's got older. This you know? is it. Beautiful goal I'll by Harry. What, what a fucking goal. screamer. It's look at this, look at the form. Now. Like you said, the side men, they're known to get seven. Beautiful. The display there. They all play an equal part. This is it. Although we haven't seen Ethan for a while. Is he on the bench? Here he is. Look at the turn, by the way, from Zerko. Very brave Millwall fan in London Stadium. Gets it to Randolph. Oh, yeah. There. Get that ball away. Get that up. ball away. Get it out of my fucking zone. You're not getting anywhere near the goal when Jack Septicei is around. I also was afraid to slide tackle anybody. I've never slide tackled anyone in my life. And I didn't want the first time I tried it to be in front of 60,000 people. Jack Septicei making a run on the left. He goes to Danny Ahrens. Danny just slowing things down. Although Jack Septicei is giving it away here. The Mexican oh, race. Gave it away. Way the stadium. Danny Ahrens recently Is this where they dad, actually scored so too? he has someone to hang out with. That's good for him. Oh, no, yeah, pull down. Me. Free kick. You know what was going through my head here? Just slowing things down. The ball was there and I was like, I could have a run. I could take the ball and go with it, but I 
Don't know if I, I'll be able to get past Ethan with that one. And then he kicked it and just went backwards. But look at me. Look at me go. See that? I was trying to cover the ground anyway. I knew that was my mistake. I was back in the zone. I was trying to mark people like crazy. Until like... <laughs> Simon actually started playing and wasn't working at like 50% of his talent. And my God, can those guys play football? What a, he was a fucking screamer. Shocking. I mean, I got, I got tipped over by Nick. There I am coming so, on. I see that, yeah. Look yeah, at me. Was, I mean, I'm glad you saw Only 2.2 million viewers and you know. I mean, it's not the worst thing I've I got done the, in front I of the I got minute. the fucking, the Haaland hair, the Erling Haaland hair or the fucking Ibrahimovic hair going on. Looking good, looking like I belong. Said it before, I'll say it again. Probably there still well done, underrated Chokes. ballers. Well done. It doesn't look like much in the highlights, okay? But I was on the pitch for a very long time, and I'll take that as a good thing. That means I wasn't bad enough that people thought I had to be subbed out immediately. I just didn't want to look stupid. I didn't want to do anything that made me look terrible. I got a rating of 6.3 for my play, which is pretty good. Carol got a 6.4, and Carol plays football a lot, which I didn't know. Mr. Beast 6.4, people did want me and Mr. Beast to fight a lot on the pitch. And when I met him, I was like, dude, we gotta do something for this. We, like, if we go up against one another, I, we gotta tackle one another, or we gotta hug, or we gotta just stop, shake hands over the ball or something. Like, we gotta do some sort of meme about it. But he was, I think he was a, a right back or a left back, and I was a left back. So we were on literally complete opposite sides of the pitch when we were playing together, so we didn't even run into one another, so... Sorry, I know everybody wanted the drama to continue. We tried to provide us content kings, but we just didn't pull it off. I rated higher than Harry? Harry played really well and he scored a goal. What are you talking about? All I know is I didn't rate the worst on the pitch, and that is all I wanted. I just wanted to get in, do the job. I kept asking the coach, I was like, so should I be closing lads down or should I be marking someone? And he was like, yeah, whatever you want. And I was like, I need instruction. Come on. All in all, incredible event. Hats off to the sidemen for pulling that off. I went out. I was very worried about my health. I even messaged Vicstar when he asked me to be part of it. I was like, I'll say yes, but my asthma might be a problem. And it wasn't. I did very well by myself. I'm very proud of the performance I put on. And I hope that I get invited back next year. If I get to play again next year, I'm gonna put in so much more work. I'm gonna train cardio like a motherfucker. I'm gonna work out like crazy. I'm gonna pick around the football. If they don't ask me back, that's totally fine. I understand that's how these things go. But I would love to be able to play again. Well done, lads. Great event. That's like one of the best things I've ever done in my YouTube career. So, well done, everybody.